Jaina versus Malfurion. I must protect the wild. You asked for it. Ooh. We can go Mana Worm coin mirror image. We can go Firefly coin black cat. None will survive. Mana Worm hero power black cat. Save our fireflies for triggering elemental stuff later on. Our bonfire elementals and our blaze callers. Turn one pass is all right with me. Next turn, we got coin mirror image hero power. Unbreakable! That is correct. Totally unbreakable. Hero power pass. I guess we just get the black cat out there. Nice! Arcane Intellect on three is all right with me, as are the rhymes. Let's see, so turn three, unless he gives us a really good reason not to Arcane Intellect, or we draw... I can't think of anything we could draw that would make us not Arcane Intellect. Leroy! Ah! Jenkins! All right, so turn four is where he Oaken summons. He kept a card off the mulligan. Oh, he just hard casts Ironwood Golem. That's fine. Hello. Because we got three, four, five. Is there any way we don't have to spend any of our minions to get through this? Hmm. <clears throat> five is just not enough. So maybe what we do is... Breath of Sindragosa for three. Trade in the cat. Leaving us with three mana. So we can throw down one of our fireflies. Just in case we draw a bonfire elemental, it'll be active. And then we can still get our ping in there. Well played coming out from him. There's Oaken Summons. Okay. Paz Dingo. Arcane Missiles. So we can either just use some more spells to blast through this or get lucky with our Arcane Missiles. If we hit, we only need to hit with two of the three Arcane Missiles. Come on! Okay, we missed. No problem. Going into turn six. Going into turn six, I don't want to give him a whole bunch of stuff that he can... Uh, turn six is when he can play Spreading Plague. And so if we mirror images, we just give him two bonus 1-5 taunt scarabs. Which I would prefer not to give him. Star Falls are one drop. <laughs> hey, okay. Okay, now we can start leveraging our board control into some business. Uh, I'm gonna drop... Oh, jeez. I'll drop one of these in case we draw Blaze Collar. If we draw Blaze Collar, we get to smash through a Scarab, but he also gets an extra Scarab, so that comes out kind of the same. Uh, we're gonna be... Hmm. Well... He didn't have Spreading Plague last turn, so maybe he doesn't have Spreading Plague this turn either. I wonder what's a card that he kept. Alright, another Ironwood Golem, that's fine. Hero Power, that's also fine. Two, three, four. I'm tempted to just throw Leroy out there to clear this thing. Because we can clear both whelps also. And we can start getting in there with the fledgling. And we still have enough mana to ping as well. If this and then we have this combo to get a fireball. I'm just gonna go in. We leave ourselves open to the swipe for sure. 
But if we can give this one untargetable, oh, we can give him divine shield. We can also give him stealth. Ooh. Let's give him stealth. <laughs> Is that better? I think so. Potentially that was supposed to be health or potentially divine shield, but now he can't target this with swipe. <laughs> On turn 8, we have Archmage Antonidas Mirror Image. On turn 9, we have Become Frostlitz Jaina. What? We're also just getting close to killing him. If we can get potentially on turn 8... No, I mean, this is too good. I was thinking about maybe we hold it until turn 9 so we can Archmage Antonidas get two fireballs. But he has to do something to prevent this fledgling from getting in there. Fledgling is so dangerous, man. You can't just, you can't just leave a fledgling. It's too dangerous. Okay. Not ideal. Not what I wanted. And our bonfire is not live. Okay, so we're gonna do... I think we're gonna stick with the plan. You require my assistance? Aha! Well played. This guy with the emotes. Do we take our three... Oh, okay, or we just win the game. 